Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasunitoy and we are back. We are back in a sense where I am in the process of continuing my journey, right? I have taught myself how to script, so functional script on a web application, right? Using Selenium Web Driver with Java, right? So that bit is done. Um, if you go to my blog, you could see all the single blogs on all the single topics in the syllabus on how to teach yourself automation scripting of a functional flow through the web application, right? Through the web application using Selenium Web Driver with Java, right? So, and you can do that in 28 days. I did it in 28 days. You can do it in 28 days as well. But remember, there are many ways to, to go around these topics, right? So practice, practice, practice. Anyway, we are back. We are back now. The functional flow automation scripting bit is done. We move on to how to develop a test automation framework from scratch using Selenium Web Driver by yours truly, Owasu, right? Kevin Owasu return. Now, as I say, up, up until this point, if you've been following my journey, you've been following the fact that I've been teaching myself Selenium Web Driver with Java, doing a functional flow, automation scripting, functional web application flow, right? And you can follow that on my blog and my YouTube channel, right? So if you click on them, um, if you click on this button here, you go to my YouTube channel and you can see all my practice videos on there as well, okay? So why do we need a framework, right? We need a framework uh, uh, to maintain all those individual functional flow uh, automated scripts we've been writing, right? So if you've wrote, written about 10, 20, 30 of those scripts, right, you need a structured framework to be able to manage, maintain, and update all those uh, uh, test cases, right, and report, um, uh, report on your, your test progress, also error debugging, and loads, loads more, right? So now in order to be able to develop a robust framework, a robust framework, right? You need to know the components that make up the framework, right? You need to have an in-depth understanding of the components that make up that framework. And that is gonna be our goal, right? So which are these components? Uh, I'm gonna have to beef up some of this um, text on here, right? But I've got, I've just listed the components for now, right? And I've just said a brief one line of what it is, right? So the first component is test ng, the next component is data driven testing, and then you have Mervin, and then you have Jenkins, and you have test automation reports, then you have log log for J, right? And then you have you have a page object model, and that's quite important, right? So these are all the components. We have seven components in all here that make up a framework, right? And we are gonna visit each and every one of these uh, uh, components and have a deep understanding around it, right? And do the practice that's required as well on my YouTube channel and I'll capture the topics on my on my blog, okay? So we have started with TestNG. This this particular video here is just an introduction into what we're going to be getting up to, right? So we have started with test ng. If you go into my blog, you know we have started on the test ng, test ng, but I've not done any of the practice videos with my test ng, right? So I'm going to start doing those practice videos as from today. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much for following my journey so far. Please continue to follow my journey. My name is Kevin Owasu. I'm here to to be an advocate, an advocate for us to upskill ourselves, not just test analysts, nurses, uh, uh, carpenters, uh, bricklayers, work trade, tradespeople, electricians, know that you have to upskill yourself, right? Um, bankers, technologies change really fast, creating complex situations, creating complex uh, problems that things and um, tools have been developed to actually solve these problems and people have to have the knowledge in operating these tools, right? Whether they are softwares or mechanics and all that stuff, right? So my name is Kevin Owasu-Victoria. Let's get up skilling, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And next stop will be day 20. So today is day 29, right? So next stop is gonna be day, 20, day, day 30, right? And we are gonna be installing a, 
in the test, we're going to be installing a plugin, a testng plugin uh, for Eclipse. Okay, so see you tomorrow where we're going to be installing a um, plugin, testng plugin for Eclipse. Okay, thank you for watching and please engage. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay blessed. Bye.